going to lead the broadcast with the deep freeze because tens of millions of Americans are facing a bitter cold night. Lows were in negative territory across the Midwest today, single digits in the Northeast. The ill Arctic wind blew no good, pummeling much of the country with snow, ice, and chaos. Jamie Ukas is in the thick of it. More than 200 pileups around Minneapolis made icy roads look more like demolition derbies than highways. This afternoon, salt trucks were geared up for more plunging temperatures. Kent Barnard with the Minnesota Department of Transportation says black ice is the major worry. It's really hard sometimes to see black ice because it basically it blends in with the pavement. And then we get all the crashes like we did today. Absolutely. Residents of Sioux Falls, South Dakota began their day clearing up to six inches of snow dumped by yesterday's storm. In Sioux City, Iowa, this SUV veered off the road and ended up in an iced over river. No one was injured. Today, Iowa State Police were coping with trucks and cars still stranded along an interstate near Des Moines. Snow and ice led to more than 50 accidents. There were dangerously cold wind chills across the plains from minus 34 in Langdon, North Dakota to minus 4 in Chicago. The cold front stretched to the nation's capital. Up to five inches of snow caused dozens of school bus accidents. Many parents complained about school districts that decided to remain open. One D.C. resident didn't seem to mind the snow. Bow Bow, the National Zoo's 16-month-old giant panda, spent the morning romping around and even played with her mother on her first snow day. While that looks like fun, kids at Minneapolis public schools will have a snow day tomorrow themselves, but because of the cold. And on a serious note, Scott, gusts of wind could reach 40 miles per hour. That has state transportation officials telling parts of the state to only go out if necessary. Jamie Ukas of CBS station WCCO. Jamie, thank you very much.